morning everyone. I wanted to walk through uh, one of the samples that we have in Dynamo now and I've got my Revit window open. I'm in a conceptual mass family just because it's a little bit easier to make some of the stuff that we're talking about today. And I'm going to go to my add-ins and I've already installed Dynamo and it full screens right away. Um, I'm actually going to leave it like that for a little bit because I want to show you a couple of features of it. So in the help file we can get to samples and I want to look at the transforms one today. So look at translate and rotate. So the translate and rotate one is just showing one of the new sort of categories of stuff that we've added here, which is um, translation or uh, yeah translation. Uh, where is my search not being quite right? Oh, sorry, not translations. Transforms. Transforms. Revit transforms, you can see the category here. So we've got scaling and rotating and reflecting and identity and translating, all of that good stuff. And the sample here is just walking through what it takes to rig up scaling, rotating, and uh, where's my translation? Uh, translation actually happens in here. So, and I've also got a watch 3D here. And with Watch 3D, you need to zoom to fit just to sort of get stuff to show up. And I'm just going to run this so that it's working right away. So now I've got a line. Yay. So the line is created by a couple of things. So we start off with a zero. Uh, this is just a special node that just gives you a zero. We don't have default values in any of the nodes yet, so you actually need to have everything completely sort of defined before it's going to do something. So working backwards from the front, I've got a line. I'm making a line. It's got a start and it's got an end point. So the way that it's starting is that I've got a zero. It's starting off my line. And then that zero is in fact being transformed. So what is it being transformed into? Well, first of all, that zero is going into a transform rotation, which is saying, okay, if I'm going to transform a point, I need an origin, I need an axis of rotation, and I need uh, an amount of rotation, which is going to be measured in radians, which people are not usually very used to, but just so that you know when you put in 180, that's going to be a lot more than 180 degrees, it's going to be 180 radians. Uh, there's 6.24 or 2 pi radians in a full 360 rotation. So that's all the stuff that goes into a rotation. Now the regular old transform point is going to actually move your point and it's going to move it according to a vector that you plug into it. So I've got my transform point which is going to be the end of my line. So I've got my start at zero and I've got my end at this transform point. So I've already sort of seen where how my rotation is going to go but what am I rotating around? I'm rotating around offsetting that point in a particular direction. So I've got my XYZ basis, which is another special node, which like I, you, has a bunch of different basises. So I can say, if I look in here under basis, I've got XYZ axis. Actually, we changed the name of this. <laughs> Sorry. This is a work in progress, isn't it? So XYZ basis is actually called XYZ axis right now. Wow, even since we changed this. I'll plug that in anyway. XYZ axis. So what this is giving me is is essentially giving me a vector, which is I'm offsetting my 0, 0 to 1, 0, 0. So it's going to be pushing it off to the right, if you imagine it. And then I'm going to say I want to scale that one point offset vector by some number. And so I can make that more or less. So if I stretch this, I get more of a translation of that vector. So now I've got 1-00 being multiplied by 10. So now this is going to be dumping out 10-000. So that's going to be how the translation is going to work. So I've got that translation dumping out of here and we can inspect that. and See what it is dumping out. So I just got my watch node. So if I slide this up to 10, we'll see that it goes up to 10 down here. See that? So 
this is just changing my vector on that point. And as I change that vector, that gets transferred into this transform point. So I now have a rotation of that transform point, and I have the actual transform uh, in space of that point. And I can also then change the degree of rotation around that axis. So if I look down at here, I can change my rotation Oop, like that. So I've got my line moving like that. And I've got my line extending with the scale translation. Oops, what's happening? I think I was just zoomed in too far. Oh, there it is. So that is the first sample for transforms, translate and rotate. And next we'll talk about the translate and rotate sequence.